Fintech, our financial technology, is a rapidly growing industry that has changed the way we manage our money. From mobile banking to peer-to-peer -peer payment platforms to online brokerages, fintech has become an essential part of finance in the 21st century. For investors, fintech offers the opportunity to invest in the growth of innovative new companies, as well as established institutions that use technology to improve their services. One of the key benefits of investing in fintech is the size of the market. According to a report by Fidelity, the fintech sector is projected to grow from $110 billion in 2020 to nearly $700 billion by 2030. This growth is being driven by a range of factors, including the increasing popularity of mobile banking, the rise of peer-to-peer -peer payment platforms, and the growth of online brokerages. Another reason to consider investing in fintech is the potential for strong gains. When a fintech company succeeds, it can offer the fast growth of a tech startup combined with the reliability of a banking industry investment. However, it's important to note that fintech companies also come with the risks of a tech startup. These companies can fail as quickly as they can succeed, making them a highly speculative investment. So, how can you invest in fintech? There are several options to consider, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Stocks one of the simplest ways to invest in fintech is to directly buy stocks of related companies. This can be a speculative investment, as you can capture all the gains of a successful company but also suffer losses if the company performs poorly. When investing in fintech stocks, you have the option to balance growth against security. For strong gains, you can look for emerging and startup companies, especially those with new technology. For a more stable investment, you can look to legacy companies like banks and credit cards, which all use fintech as part of their daily operations. Mutual funds or ETFs. Another option is to invest in fintech through mutual funds or exchange-traded funds, ETFs. There are several ETFs and mutual funds that focus specifically on the fintech sector, building their portfolios around both new and existing companies. The advantage of this approach is that you get exposure to a range of fintech companies, reducing the risk associated with investing in a single stock. Additionally, mutual funds and ETFs are typically managed by professional investors, which can help ensure a well-diversified portfolio. Crowdfunding. For a more hands-on approach, you can consider investing in fintech startups through crowdfunding platforms. This can be a great way to get in early on the next big thing, but it also comes with higher risk. Crowdfunding can provide you with access to a wide range of fintech startups, but it can be difficult to evaluate the potential of these companies, and there is a higher risk of failure. Ultimately, the best way to invest in fintech will depend on your individual goals and risk tolerance. It's important to consider your overall investment strategy and consult with a financial advisor if you're unsure about how to proceed. With the right approach, investing in fintech can be a lucrative opportunity to profit from the growth of this exciting and rapidly evolving industry.